I'm here today to see one of my students, Jenna, and she's just done this bungalow. When we viewed it, we just fell in love with it yeah. when we walked straight through yeah. the door. So it was 120 on the auction. Yeah. Overgrowth of the garden put a lot of people yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so we chose EGL property, which is Amelia Grace Leak, our little oh. girl. So that's our why, really. We spent about 160, yeah. and we've just sold it for 205. Spent 160 all in. 205 end value, sold 45 grand profit. Just short of six months, that's how you make money in property. So property flipping, buy a property, do it up, sell it, make loads of money. I'm here today to see one of my students, Jenna, and she's just done this bungalow. We've come to see her, to find out all about it and how much money has she made. So wow, this kitchen is beautiful. Thank Tell you. me about refurbing this. So this was just a shell really. It just had some little wooden cabinets in. Nobody had lived in it for well over a year. So it was just very basic. So that got ripped out. And we just went with simple color scheme. Obviously they've got the big windows letting lots of lights. Gorgeous. I wanted to have the top, the white, the gray. I love how much room it's got because if I, I was buying mm -hmm. it to move in, you'd put a little thing here, wouldn't yes, you? Like a little, little table, table, little breakfast bar. Yep. It's absolutely gorgeous. And, and I like some of the, I like, you put these yeah. pictures up obviously, which is a, yeah, Just lovely a little touch. bit of detail. But no, we also, um, the boiler was in the kitchen, it was in the far cupboard. Ah. And there wasn't, so there wouldn't be enough cupboard space, yeah. not that I thought anyway. Yeah. So we moved the boiler to the bathroom. Yeah. And so they've got an extra cupboard, which is great. No, it's lovely, it's it's big. For, the, for two bed bungalows, it's yes. a lovely big kitchen. So we go through to the lounge, which is a really long lounge. So again, if you didn't have the table in the kitchen, you could have it oh, here. Oh, you could, that yeah. Was... Yeah, you could have living yeah. room, dining room. Yeah, this is plenty big enough and it's lovely. And it's like, it's nice, it's got two windows. Yes, a lot of Because you don't have that, do you? Yeah. The person who's bought it has actually maybe thought about putting a log burner in the corner. Oh. So that'd be yeah, quite cosy. Yeah. I love how the fact you've done attention to details. So we've got the sockets, yep. not plain white. No, we did. We had design. originally did have the white ones, and then I didn't like them, so we swapped them to the black, upgraded to the black, and then everything's yeah. the black: the handles, the lights, everything. And that's actually one feature that he mentioned as soon as he walked really? through the door that he loved the black features, yeah. which is great. Did you put all new doors on everywhere all as well? All new doors, yeah. And oh, we went yes. with, put the blinds in as well, just to add that nice, yeah. that nice feeling, really. Yeah, you can just imagine someone living here yeah. and being really, you know, yes. really cosy. Let's go through to the bathroom. So originally, it was a oh. bath, um, a very old bath, sink, toilet. Yeah. So we swapped it out. With it being a bungalow, I thought potentially an older, person might prefer yeah. the shower rather than a bath so and it's just the big double shower i love the tiles i love the features over there near the toilet as well yeah and then yeah. the boiler just fitted straight into the cupboard so we didn't leave any space Perfect. Perfect. So this is the main bedroom i did the sockets so the bed would go that way yeah um, again a lot of space in this room yeah. for wardrobes if needed yeah, you've done it lovely. I really do think you doing the black features has made a difference. So yes. it just brought it to life, hasn't yeah. it? And the new doors, because sometimes people try and refurb the doors and keep the doors, which is a cost saving, but they don't, no. this just looks crisp, nice, yeah. neat. Thank you. And then through to the smaller bedroom, again, could be used as a study or a small bedroom, or even just a nice little sitting room with the doors open in the summer. I was gonna say, you can just see how people might use it, like you're saying, yeah. a little study, another room. You can even get, you know where they have the sofa beds? I can imagine yes. someone having a sofa bed, using it as a snug with the, and then, but yeah. then, yeah, no, it's beautiful. These are fab as well. Yeah. Onto the garden, the garden's just gorgeous. I love, love how you've landscaped this. And it's just perfect for someone that wants a bungalow, wants a lower maintenance, you know, garden. This is gorgeous. Cause it's very you. overgrown, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You couldn't see anything. We found a pond we didn't know about. <laughs> We had 13 trees down the side wow. of the house we didn't know about. Um, so yeah, there was a lot that we found when digging back the trees. Big patio um, oh, and just grass, low yeah. maintenance. So how did you find getting landscapes in to do this? We had three quotes, all very, very different. So we ranged from 20 <laughs> through to 
uh, I think 10 or 15, no, wow. maybe 12, I think it was. And then the one we settled with is actually an old friend of mine, um, which was quite nice in the end to kind of yeah. have him work on it. And in the end, it was about eight, I think. So, oh, but brilliant. I mean, from 20 to eight, to eight, it's massive. So definitely get lots of quotes. <laughs> I was going to say that's the tip, isn't it? Don't settle on the first coat. Get no. your free quotes, compare them because yeah. they've done a beautiful job this side and the other side. And it really makes a difference when people are buying, when you're when you're doing something to flip, yeah. having the garden and spend the money on the landscaping really adds value to the property price. But you were told not to buy this house, weren't you? Yes. So originally, um, so within the auction pack, <laughs> it noted down Japanese knotweed, which if you speak to anybody over a certain age, it's do not touch, do not go near it, the house will not sell. Yeah. It was a risk, because we yeah. didn't know about the Japanese knotweed, but like you say, you don't know what you don't no. know. No. So we had to educate ourselves yeah. on the Japanese knotweed. We had somebody come in originally, um, before we'd purchased the property, we paid for a survey for the knotweed. It's actually stuck in between the two garages but um so you would never know no, really no and with the treatment plan in place it's actually it doesn't no, affect anything no it doesn't it's just the um the fear of it i think yeah. when somebody says it yeah um, but we yeah we took that risk and actually the the couple that have bought it have worked with it previously so no they, problems yeah, yeah. So Jenna, you set up a property business to do this uh, yes. property flipping. Yes, so from the Wealth Through Property courses, I realised that obviously setting it up in the limited company rather than our own name. Yeah. And so we chose EGL Property, which is Amelia Grace Leak, our little girl. Aww. So that's our why, really. I don't want her to feel pressured into having to go to uni or no. choosing a career. I want her to do her own thing. I'd love for her to just travel the world. So yeah, we're trying to set up our little property portfolio, raise some money with the flips, and then she has the choice to continue it on yeah. or do whatever she wants with it, yeah. I can see her being grown up and you guys did it together. Yeah. Mum and daughter smashing oh, property. Yeah. She loves it here. She's been running around the garden. And then obviously my dad's helped as well. He's yeah. a fixer, she calls him the fixer. Oh. And um, she's been getting a little head torch on. Oh. She's been helping him. So she's learning, she's only four. So um, yeah, so we're definitely doing it. That's our why, doing it for her. Amazing, what a why. So Jenna, how did you buy this bungalow? It was originally on just with an estate agency. It was being transferred yeah. into the auction. Yeah. Um, so we spotted it then. And I think with the overgrowth of the garden put a lot of people yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. It went into auction, it was reduced. We did all the figures on it. When we viewed it, we just fell in love with it yeah. when we walked straight through yeah. the door. We found out that actually the neighbour over across the road, it was her mum that oh, had it for 20 wow. years. She rented it off yeah. the owner. So it was 120 on the auction. Yeah. We went in with an, a low offer um, and ended up getting it for the 105. Amazing. So to fund it, we used 50% of our money and 50% from an investor, which was a family member. Amazing. Did it put you off having to go for some at auction? Because people are a bit frightened of auctions. No, well, obviously I joined the Wealth Academy back in March. Yeah. So I was doing the training with you and yeah. I had the mentoring, yeah. knew about getting the, yeah. the pack checked. So we went through that with a solicitor, local solicitor tender yeah. around in 24 hours Amazing. for us. So that gave us the confidence, the confidence of obviously having the support from you lot, yeah. which was fab. And um, yeah, so we just decided to go for it. It was exciting. We'd never, we'd never done it before. So give us the figures. What did you spend on it to refurb? So in total, with the auction fees, the refurb fees, everything else, we spent about 160. Yeah. And we've just sold it for 205. Spent 160 all in, 205 end value sold. That's a roughly, minus fees and stuff, 45 grand profit. Absolutely amazing. And you've done it in how long? Just short of six months. Just short of six months. That's how you make money in property. Thank you for watching Property Investing with Abby. If you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know what you think about Jenna and her bungalow flip. I could not be prouder of what Jenna has achieved here. And she's building wealth for her and her little girl, Emmy. And I'm so excited to help her and be part of her journey as she builds wealth through property.